Hello from Artcraft Electronics. Today we will be testing out one of the Bulgarian transverter boards. This particular one seems to have a problem, or was reported to have a problem. So what we're going to do is mount the transverter board onto the adapter. So we'll be able to interface it with the various components necessary to test it. Okay, now here we have the transverter board mounted to the test jig. This just consisted of a physical mounting, two bolts, and a half dozen connections, uh, power in, power out, push to talk connection, and of course DC power in. Next we'll set it up on the test bench itself and we'll see how it performs. And now we have the test bench set up. We have the input to the IF set up and connected. We have the push to talk connected and we have the output for 222 megahertz to the test bench. The test bench consists of a bird watt meter and a Motorola communications analyzer to provide both the transmit and the receive functions. The IF for today's test is a TS2000 and it's going to be set up on 28 megahertz. So we'll go down there and there it is on 28 megahertz and it's receiving So for the moment, we'll just let everything warm up. Right now though, I think I'm going to set up the communications analyzer to work on 222 megahertz. 2221000 on up to the generate and monitor point. And because we know these transverters are fairly sensitive, we'll set it to a relatively small amount of output, put about 130 dB of attenuation in line. Here we have 137, negative 137 dBm, and let's see if we can find it on the test receiver. Well, it's not at 100. Well, there it is. That's not half bad. Minimum discernible signal in upper sideband with 2.4 kilohertz of bandwidth is negative 137.6 dBm or better. That's comparable right there. So that's working. We'll make some records of that and go on to the next item. What we're going to do now, however, is we're going to go to the test mode on this, the transmit test mode. And in order to do that, we're going to have to put an attenuator on the input as these boards can only handle hmm, maybe 20 milliwatts of drive power. So I'm going to shut down the power for the moment and insert an attenuator.
And yes, I did all that powered up just because I'm pretty confident of I'm not going to short anything out or cause problems. It's interesting that I can still hear the remnants. I, you know, it's ESP level, but I can hear the remnants of the signal, and that would put it at negative 157 dBm. Theoretically, that's not even possible. So, nonetheless, we're going to put this in gear, put the communications analyzer is now over in the receive mode we're going to take the attenuator out and then we just did that and we're going to turn the bird watt meter onto the PEP reading mode and let's check our power okay our power's 5 watt in to 20 TB there we're going to be at about 50 milliwatts of drive well let's do it in upper side band and see what happens testing one two well it would appear we don't have any output at all let's see if we have anything coming through to the spectrum analyzer. Nope, we have absolutely nothing coming through. So, okay, perhaps if we turned on the DC power, we'd do a little better. Let's see what we have coming through now. And it is very, very slight amount of power coming out of it. No, nope, not much power at all. Uh, if that's all there is showing up on the spectrum analyzer, let's go over to the spectrum analyzer and you'll see what I'm seeing. Right there's the spectrum analyzer and you can see it's just a little bitty bump coming up right now. I am transmitting into the transverter and it is outputting on 222.1. That's good, but just not much power there. Let's do some tweakage on the uh, board and see if we can come up with some more power output or if that's it. Nope, that's as much as there is. So I'm going to put it over in the AM mode and there it is. And I'm going to go up to General Monitor, and yeah, it's it's not putting out much power at all. Virtually no power being output. Four. So we've determined that our transverter does receive. So that means the mixer and other circuits such as that are in good shape, but it does not transmit. Now that uh, I find a little disconcerting. That would be, tell me either the power output has a problem or we have a device along the way in the multiplier chain or, or something is wrong here. So, yes, this particular board does have a transmit failure and we're going to have to troubleshoot further to test it and see if it's working or what it takes to get it working.